Hello, this is Tony Ban, and this video is of myself and Ryan Lee doing submission judo or jiu jitsu with the gi, doing three minute rounds with one minute rest. So, yeah, uh, Ryan's a brown belt in judo. He's been a brown belt for a couple, more than a couple of years now. He's just, uh, should be a black belt by now but he just hasn't gone in to uh, do the uh, black belt exam. Uh, he's been doing judo for a while and has competition experience so I want him to come down to help us with our throws and some submissions and stuff like that. Uh, this is our first time actually grappling together with uh, a judo geese and there I tried to do like a tie to get him down but I didn't set it up correctly. He wasn't off balanced yet, and I didn't throw my hip in enough. But um, yeah, I'm basically a, a yellow belt in judo, and I only trained for like a few months, but I've had experience doing karate, learning some judo techniques. And my instructor was training judo for quite a long time before, and uh, there Ryan just tried to do I I can't remember what it's called now. Uh, but uh, it's just like a rolling back throw. And here I got him in a geech lapel choke. I actually didn't get his neck. I didn't actually get his neck. Yeah, so I didn't actually get his neck with that choke. Um, I was just I was putting all my pressure down on his chin. He had his chin down, and that's the reason why he tapped out. I put all my body weight onto it, and then uh, well, I just tried to do a iponse anagi there. I didn't, again, didn't set it up correctly. But yeah, he said that in judo, you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to do that. Just putting your weight down on the guy's chin, they'd probably, I guess, they'd probably break you up before that would happen, but uh, this is submission, so I was just just going for the kill. He shouldn't have, um, he probably shouldn't have tapped, because like, he wasn't going to, he didn't have a risk of being choked out at that moment. <coughs> that was a good attempt. Alright, now get the choke over. And uh, there was a uh, very nice Seonagi, or I can't really mm -hmm. tell. But uh, his back K throw, and uh, he, ba he basically got that throw. I just did since I'm about 60 pounds. I'm 60 pounds. I have a 60 pound weight advantage, so I guess being me being that big, it was harder for me to uh, throw over. But uh, he basically got that throw, and there's a nice, good technique on it. And then he. Uh, Got the map back mount, but I didn't get the hooks in, so I was able to get back onto my feet. Yeah. That choke, he probably shouldn't have tapped. Because he didn't have any risk of being choked out. And it was just putting, um. <laughs> he didn't put any. I, I was just putting my weight on him, and it was just. It, ca it caused pain and discomfort, but really, you could. Toughen that out and not and just could have went for like an armbar or something because really like it's not going to cause any permanent damage it just hurts so this is a uh, second round now and yeah I also tried a a dropping back throw I uh, I did set it up nicely I pushed forward and then waited till he pushed back to fall down on my back and do the throw but I didn't have my uh, left arm wrapped around his waist and grabbing the other side of his belt well and when I dropped down I kind of leaned to the wrong I uh, leaned to the wrong side I supposed to lean to the left I believe and drag him throw him that way instead I threw him over to the right side so it wasn't very improper technique that was a nice attempt, and then now he uh, got me in the back mount. He has a, uh, I got him in the back mount, sorry. I'd, he turtled up, turtled up really well, and I couldn't get my hooks in. There you go. 
And now uh, two systems to half guard. Oh, and so I got him in my half guard. And he gets into the full mount. I'm punching Shelby from here. <laughs> I'm just doing grappling, no grounding bound. But Adam still said, just punch the, punch the shit out of him right here. And he could have. And now here he gets a beautiful armbar. And right when I felt the pressure on it, that's what happened. <laughs> so yeah, he got it nicely. I kind of rolled into it. And I had a control of his arm, but and then once his leg came up, I reacted and immediately tried to grab his leg. And I was wanted to kind of twist out and pull my arm out right away, but I knew then I realized that since he had the grip of my gi, it wouldn't have been so easy for me to slip out. So that's when I, right when I felt the pressure, pressure coming from my arm, I was that the only option I was going to tap or I grab, end up grabbing his gi and doing a a uh, armbar slam I guess you would call it Quentin Jackson style I've done it a few times before with no gi to in other grappling sessions with other people but uh, it actually made it a lot easier because with the gi I could just I just grew, grabbed the hold of his gi and the only thing about that slam was that he fell on his tailbone he unhooked his legs and wasn't and just let go and then it landed right on his tailbone I wasn't I didn't know that happened at that time usually people would just keep their legs hooked and just land on their back and they'll just knock the wind out of them it wouldn't really hurt them that much but that time he landed on his tailbone so that caused a lot of pain defensive slam against an armbar <laughs> so yeah let's see that slam again and again and again so he basically had that armbar on me and since I outweigh him by 60 pounds, makes it very easy for me to pick him up like that. He's only about 150 flat and I'm about 210 right now, so I've actually done this slam against someone that was about 170. That's probably like, and I was 200 at the time, I think I was probably 190 at the time when I did it, so, but yeah, I like slamming.